Shannon, were you encouraged or discouraged from what you saw out of Justin Fields last I'm night? I'm discouraged because Chicago had several opportunities to put the game out of reach. They had the ball three times at the five-yard line or closer and came away with zero points. Zero. Um, Fields, Skip, there's a throw in the game. He had the tight end so wide open. He did. I don't care if you're in high school. I don't care what level. You got to make that throw. And far too many times, he misses those throws. But even then, Skip, all could have been forgotten. All Mooney had to do was catch that last pass. Rams runs a great route. Sets him up perfectly. Dives inside. It's look, a semi-shake route, Skip. He pushes up, breaks hard inside, breaks it out, and he bobbles it. And by the time he maintains it, he does, he's, he's not in the end zone. But, Skip, Justin Fields is last in completion percentage. He's last in passing yards. He's 27th in QBR. He's 19 points ahead of Baker Mayfield. <laughs> the Bears have thrown 115 passes this season, the fewest by a team through six games since the 82 Patriots. 82 Patriots, they, they ran the ball really well. And, and Fields after the game said, we get told we're almost there, we're almost there. Me, personally, I'm tired of being almost there. I'm tired of being just this close. I feel like I've been hearing this for so long. Since earning the league, he has the second worst completion percentage. You probably should play a little better. Now, I'm not saying he's been... Because at some point in time, that's Skip, we got to start... And, and I don't think they put him in the best situation. You got to go back and... If you draft a Justin Fields, what was he good at in college? Did they put him on the move? Now, granted, he had a, a plethora of he receivers. He did. Because he got a lot of receivers that's literally in the NFL that was first-round draft picks. That is correct. And the guys that's on his team, they aren't that good. So you might have to put him on the move. Skip, you see in a situation last night, they went right down the field. You might have to put him in a situation like that, Skip. You might have to give him a little bit more RPOs. You might have to put him on the move. You might have to use up-tempo to see if we can get the best out of him. Now, we put him in a situation, Skip, where, like, he had success in Ohio State. Put him in an RPO situation. Put him on the move. Uh, give him some better receivers. And he still can't get it done. It's him, yep. not them. So, but right now, Skip, he's just... I mean, I, I don't feel like he's throwing the ball. It's almost like... He's unsure of himself. I watched him last night on several throws. I'm like, bro, just drive it. Just drive the football. But he seems unsure of what he's supposed to be doing. And uh, nah, uh, uh, no, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not encouraged at all by what I saw. Mm. By the way, Justin Fields at the Ohio State, there were some games, see Clemson, right. where he would just sit in the pocket and destroy good football teams mm -hmm. with good defenses. Right. He threw the life out of the ball. I, I, he threw six touchdowns against Clemson this did, last that's year. That's what I'm saying. And yet he had a track team of receivers. They're all first-round quality draft picks. And yet, remember, then he, he's got Northwestern in the Big Ten championship game, and he just stunk. I don't know what happened. Yeah. He just had one of those days that kind of looked like last night where he just couldn't throw it straight. Yeah, remember in sophomore year, Skip, they had Clemson on the run. What did he do? He threw a pick in the end zone. He did. So, All right. So... Last night, the visiting team at Soldier Field, Washington, quarterback <laughs> by your guy, Carson Wentz, managed to win the game while Carson Wentz went 12 of 22 for 99 yards 99. passing. 99 yards passing. And while going 2 of 11 on third down, did the visiting team, 2 of 11, and while giving up 238 rushing yards to the home team, Chicago Bears. Well, that's a formula for getting you beaten. But yes. to your point, the Bears had the ball three times at the five-yard line. And the first time, it gets tipped up in the air and caught by the wrong team. Correct. And then the next time, they get a fourth and one at the two or whatever it and was. And now he wasn't, close. Yeah, he wasn't stuffed, even close to getting in. Stuffed. Re really lost yard. <laughs> yeah. Lost ground. And then Put back to the your move. point. Put Justin Fields on the move. Don't just hand it to the running back up the gut. Okay. So the reason I was slightly encouraged is because this young man took a beating last night and he kept jumping right up and trying again. And when I sort of least expected it, when, when the money was on the line, he put his heart on the line because he, he's got mental and physical toughness to right. it. I get the inaccuracy and that's usually lethal, long-term lethal. Mm -hmm. But if we could see the run that he made late in the game, what time is like 101 left, and he gets loose for 39 yards. This is, he just runs to your point. He got outside the pocket, and he said, no, you know what, I got this, and that was a sweet cutback. And then he said, no, I'm not going to run out of bounds. I'm going to hit you. And he got it down to whatever it was, the five-yard line. Well, he has real running ability because 
he he's powerful. He's right. kind of Jalen Hurts like, except he's a little faster than Jalen Hurts. But Skip, if you think about it, all the quarterback that's mobile, mm -hmm. the coordinators have design run well, for him. Do. Look at Kyler Murray. Mm -hmm. Look at Josh Allen. Look at Lamar Jackson. Look, look at Jalen Hurts. Yep. All these guys have legs and they have design runs. Let him get, give him some design runs. Okay. Well, he he designed that one for <laughs> yeah, himself, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. And and I was impressed because. He was not going to be denied. Oh, yeah. He wasn't going to slide. He wasn't going to go down. He wasn't going to run out of bounds. He right. just said, I'm going to keep on keeping on because I'm our best option to get close to score. Right. So all of a sudden they get down there first and goal and they 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 ran the first. He scrambled the first time and just got a yard. And then he gets a, a ball tipped because he's trying to throw to Mooney. So now we get to third and goal at the four. And now we got two straight plays. I got to tell you. I didn't see this coming, but he put both these balls on the money, and they weren't simple throws. If we right. see the first one to uh, to Pettis. Pettis in the back of the end zone, he's bounced around the league. He's not the best receiver in the world, but but this gets where it's supposed to go, yeah. right? That's a, that's a hard catch. I know it's falling, hard falling down, yep. and it, it, the ball's on, on top of you. Yeah, Pettis is like six one, but he's get he gets both hands yeah. on the ball. It it's a quarterback throw where I say. I give you an A for that throw because right. you threw it with touch right. and pinpoint accuracy because it's right there. Right. The DB's getting a right. hand up in there too. But your guy gets both his right. hands on the ball and he just can't quite bring right. it down or we're having a different conversation. Yes. And now to your Mooney play on fourth down, he, he throws it to the perfect point. You got to make this catch. Well, you just got to catch it clean the first time. It's like Devontae the other That's night. It. You have to catch it clean. That's it. And if you do... It's a touchdown. Game's over. Your game's over. Yeah, you're already nice, crossed. Nice the, stab. You have, you've broken the plane. And the DB made a good play. Yeah. He got his hand he up. Didn't, he there. didn't give up on it. No. Nope. But if he catches it clean, it's yep. a touchdown. I got it. Yep. Okay. So how can I downgrade Justin for those two throws? Those are big time throws right. under pressure. They're two game winning throws that he made back. Well, hell, to back. he probably won't even need those throws, Skip, if he hits the tight okay. end that's wide uh, open. Okay, well, uh, obviously, but when it came time right. yes. to yes. make plays, yes. Yes. boy, he made some yes. big time yes. plays. And yes. I said, I like that. But see, Skip, the, the thing that, that concerns me about that, and it's probably a blessing in disguise, because then we'll go back and we won't critique him properly. We'll say, well, he just made the plays when it mattered the most. And guys don't get better when they just make plays when it matters the most. You have to have show consistency throughout the course of okay. the game. And so that's what that's what my concern is with him. Okay. Sometimes we evaluate these guys just by they make one throw or they just win the game. All right, you gotta I got to look it. at long term now. All right, I'm with you. I still like what's what he's made of. Right. I don't like his inaccuracy because you can't fix it. I don't care what you say. My issue with accuracy has been I've been doing this for a long time. You can't teach it or coach it. You're born with the ability to see it, feel it, and throw a spiral that that hits right. you right in the hands. Some guys can, and some guys can't. Skip, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because I saw how Josh Allen's accuracy increased when he got Stephon Diggs. Yeah. So I need you to go get him, a, go yeah. get him a, a number one I receiver, so. either draft him or trade for one, or one comes up for in free agency. But you're gonna be awful tough to get one because guys want to go play with guys. I mean, Stephon Diggs wanted to go play with Josh Allen. He did. You gotta have to have to so have someone wants to go play with you. The same thing that's happening yep. with Lamar. Lamar's running into that in Baltimore. Skip guys come up in free agency. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if I really want to play with a guy that that sometimes his his his, his accuracy yep. is inconsistent. Okay, but Lamar's accuracy is way more consistent. Oh than yeah, Justin yeah, Fields, yeah, way yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, but Skip, Lamar's in his fifth season, and so he won I, an MVP. It, so okay. I'm I'm willing to give I'm willing to work with the guy, but I'm, I'm saying get him get him a get him a receiver or, or two. Show up his offensive line because you can't keep you can't get get getting sacked five times. Okay. Yeah. You, you can't let the guy keep getting big. You're going to break his – I don't care how tough he is. You'll break his confidence. Okay. He gets hit like he's getting hit. All right. He got sacked five times, Skip. How many times did he pick himself up off the ground? All right. Now let's flip it around to the other quarterback you used to nah, love man. but don't anymore. <laughs> he's also inaccurate to a fault where when you least expect it, he just throws it in the dirt, as I used to call him, bounce it to him. Wins. Yeah, skip it and, a lot of that. And, and the problem with him is that when you need him – to show some guts, some clutch guts, he does not. His intangibles are low. I think Justin Fields' intangibles are high. His game on the line intangibles, right. I don't know if you can fix the accuracy part, but with Carson, he's inaccurate plus low intangibles. Right. The best thing I've seen him do is throw a block on Roquan Smith last <laughs> night, and I think he won back a little respect from his teammates if we could see this, because he's 6'5", 240, and 
he this bit gets bounced out and he cuts in and it's kind of a blind Ooh, side. I'm and, surprised you know, they didn't that, call That's it. a flag, man. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that a blind well, side Skip, block? Well, Skip, theoretically, he wasn't blocking back on the play. He was, the play was coming his way, so theoretically, that's not... Face-to-face. -face right. Yeah, okay. But I didn't know Carson Wentz had that in him. Hell, I don't yet, think he knew he had it in him. Okay. Well, that, that helps win you a little bit of respect right. in the locker room. But, Skip, think about it. Carson Wentz going into last night was fifth in the league in passing. Yeah, he had had some big number days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he, he gets 99 yards. 99. Whew. And that's the problem. The highs are really here, but, Skip, them lows, you can't have. I mean, look look at, look at what the high is and where the low is. Look at all that in between. Okay. Can we, can, we, can we stay in here? Okay, but guess which locker room is happy right now. Oh, absolutely. Whew. Watch it. Well, they were happy until somebody asked a, a Raw Rivera question after the game, and then all of a sudden it went <laughs> happy. He, he, he wasn't happy. The no, locker room no, was still no. happy. No. He wasn't happy. Okay. Well, he was defending his his choice of Carson Wentz. After well, you just killed a man just two days ago. Like, so, well, you can't have it both ways. So so pardon the media yeah. from deducing, you just said the reason why you weren't winning was because of your quarterback. So it's, it's I think it's fair, fair, fair to, to assume that you didn't want him. Yeah. Because you just hit him over his head. Yeah, and then he's saying, well, I chose him. I saw the analytics. I studied the analytics. Well, then you made a mistake. Exactly. Right? Okay. So which in way that, do you want it? In, in that situation, you can't you can't win, Ron. So, it's, it's just best aim. Yeah, you, we, I don't have a quarterback because I chose the quarterback? I, yeah. Oh, way to go. Congratulations. <laughs> they got a lot going on. They got a lot going on in Washington I'd say right they now. got way too much going on. <laughs> Guys, the Bears are sitting at third in the NFC North, and now they have a while to think about this and try to fix it. They don't play again until Monday night football on the 24th. I don't know. Sometimes people like the layoff. Sometimes they want to get right back out on the field. Mm. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.